Have you ever wondered what it is about the EF 24 to 70 lens that make it so awesome? Come along with me and we'll explore what it, what it is about this lens that makes it such a sought after piece of equipment. Hi, my name is Frank White and welcome to another episode of Photography Tips and Reviews. In today's episode, I am going to talk about the Canon EF 24-70 USM 2L ultrasonic lens. Now, I may not have said that in the right order in terms of getting the 2 and the L in the right place, but you get the idea. Now, this lens is one of the most sought after lens in photography. So, you ever wonder why? Um, the first thing I can tell you is for a non-prime lens, it is one of the most sought after lenses that you can actually uh, get your hands on. That's why it's one of the go-to lenses for wedding photography and many other genres of photography. Um, its focal length is perfect for those wide shots to capture the scenery and you can dial it up to about 70 millimeters to get some portrait work. Now, 70 millimeters may not be the best portrait focal length uh, that one could choose, but since you're not doing strictly portraiture and, and doing events, you are doing just that in event, and then 70, you can't get away with the 70 millimeter portrait focal length. Suffice it to say that a lot of photographers tend to, to want to use a 50 millimeter focal length to do some portrait portrait your work. So no review would be right without giving you the, the specifications. Now this lens, as you know, has a 24 to 70 focal length. Uh, no surprises there. Uh, has a constant f 2.8 aperture and the maximum aperture is f 22. Now by maximum actually f 2.8 and it closes down to f 22. Um, this lens has a minimum focal distance of 1.25 feet or 38 centimeters. Uh, so that means I can get fairly close to my subject. Um, it has 18 elements in 13 groups. Now, for me, that's marketing speakies. It does tell me that, that the only thing that I know is that the more elements and the more groups that it, that it has, then the more complex the lens is. Um, it does have this locking button on the side. It is a telescoping lens. So I just locked it. Let me unlock it, lock it. So it does telescope, I would have liked to have, have seen a lens, this, I would have liked to have seen this lens be a non-telescoping lens. Um, it does have auto focus and manual focus, four time manual override, but you know, a lens that was once $2,200, you would expect that. It does not have image stabilization. So this lens, um, doesn't have the image stabilization kind of redundant there, I just said that. But I do suspect that the next version, the Mark III version, can and will introduce the image stabilization in that version. Find something to focus on. So did you see how quick that was? That was less than a second. So, and there you go. So it does focus really, really quickly. It's, um, now this is a, a water and dust resistant lens, uh, which means that it, you can shoot with it out in the rain. Um, of course, it's not waterproof, but even when I shoot with a camera out in the rain, I'm still cognizant of, of how easily water can slip by something. Um, so, with that said, so with that said, I would be really careful 
using it in, in the rain. Um, I, I, well, what I tend to do is just use my own judgment. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got this little rubber seal here that, that works to keep, to form a, a watertight seal on that end so that water will not get into your camera body. And obviously it's sealed at the front. Now, it is a telescoping uh, lens. So with telescoping lenses, you, you do need to be careful. And right now I got it locked. So that's another feature, it does have a lock. So, so over time, it doesn't start to, to get lens creep where, where the weight of the element actually start to pull it down. Um, this, this copy at this point in time is still pretty tight. And the front elements doesn't really feel that heavy, so it probably won't creep ever, um, if truth be told. Um, but back to what I was saying about the barrel telescoping, it is a lens that do telescope. So, you know, my preference my personal preference for lenses, especially at this price point, which is around $1,800. Uh, at the time I'm making this video, which is down from, well, it's about $300 cheaper than it, than it was when it came out. Um, but for a lens at, at this price point, I would have liked to see it have a burl so that all the telescoping is inside the barrel like it is on the 70 the 200. Now, if they had made it that way, the barrel would be at least this long, even when it's uh, dialed down to 24 millimeters. But at least at 24 millimeters, it is fairly short. As with any lens, the most important thing is the image quality. Now, like I said, this is probably the sharpest lens you're gonna get at a at these telescoping um, focal lens. Since it's not a prime lens, then you probably won't get a lens any sharper. In fact, I've heard some people say that this lens is like having all prime lens throughout its focal length. So, I'm gonna put up some images and let you enjoy them. Um, I know it's nothing like taking your own images. Uh, but trust me, it really is a sharp lens. I hope I've been able to give you some really good information about the Canon EF 24-7 F2.8 L2 USM ultrasonic lens. That's kind of redundant, USM ultrasonic lens. But in any case, if you like this information, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I kind of use that as my barometer to, to determine how well I'm presenting you with this information and and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscription button become a part of this community a community of, of photographers and this community is about photography if you have any questions or comments leave them below I read them all and remember guys if you're gonna shoot anybody today shoot them with a Canon or a camera of your choice and remember, keep shooting, no matter what.